So today we're going to be changing the rear brake rotors and pads on a 2015 Chevy Malibu. So today we're going to be changing the rear brake rotors and pads on a 2015 Chevy Malibu. Now this is pretty straightforward as long as you have all the right tools. I'll show you those as I go but uh, you're going to want a brake caliper service kit. You can rent from AutoZone, O'Reilly, uh, any place like that. You'll need a T30 Torx to remove this bolt. You'll need a 13 millimeter wrench for two bolts on the caliper and then uh, an 18 millimeter wrench on the caliper bracket that holds uh, the caliper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these two 13 millimeter bolts out uh, holding the caliper on and then uh, I will get to compressing the piston for the caliper and I'll show you that. That's where the, uh, the correct tool really helps out. So sometimes when you're in a pinch here and you know we got the brake hose coming in right here uh, you can't get a, a ratchet on there so i'm just going to use a 13 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench and i'm getting added leverage by putting this on here so So there's that. Now we'll be able to pull the caliper off. On the old style, you could use a C-clamp and compress the piston to get the caliper off, but that's not how we do things anymore. At least on the rear. Okay. So here is the piston for the caliper. Uh, you can see there's two notches in here. All right, so this kit is what you're going to want to use uh, at AutoZone. This is the manufacturer is OEM and the part number is 57111. Um, I'll also put a link in the description below uh, at, to purchase this on Amazon. Might not be the exact same one, but it's the same, same setup. I actually went to Harbor Freight to buy one and it was $50 there, but they didn't have it in stock. And so I just went down to AutoZone. It cost $60 to rent and then you, I'll take it back and get my money back. So it's it's really a free rental, but um, anyway, there's no better way to do these than with, with this kit here. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So what we want to do is we want to find the die uh, that fits these grooves. And hopefully you can see that this goes right on the piston and locks in on that where those teeth are so the way this works 
is this will this will go in here and this pushes up against this part right here and then once you have this in place all right so we're locked in on the on the piston so now we have to turn this to get the backing plate up against the uh, up against here alright so at this point since it's tied up against here we can start turning this and I had the same thing happen on the other side where this rubber boot just wants to, to keep getting bound up so I'm going to clean that and I'll show you what I'm doing to clean that and just so you understand what's going on here this rubber boot is just tight on that piston and it should be spinning so I'm going to take a uh, plastic pry tool and I'm going to lift up on this seal This is just to help clean clean up some of this dirt. But what I what I'm going to do is get under here and get some uh, some lubricant under the rubber so that as I turn it, it'll start to disperse. And I really don't want to put much in there because I don't want it to contaminate anything. But so now we should be good, and we'll just start turning it down. I'm going to take the cap off of the, the brake reservoir to allow some pressure to get back. To take some pressure off the line. Alright, for now I'm going to leave it just like it is. Um, we'll get the new pads installed and then we'll check and make sure it fits. If it fits, we'll uh, just go ahead and take that off. So I'm just going to set it back here for the moment. And now we're going to take two 18 millimeter bolts off um, for the caliper bracket. And again, the reason that we're using a wrench is because we've got an obstruction here that I can't get a socket on here. Alright, so I'm just leaving the bolts where they go. Now that I've got this out, we're going to uh, put some grease on these slides and change out the pads and get the rotor off, put the new rotor on. So unfortunately the brake pads that I bought did not come with new hardware. so. Uh, we're going to reuse the hardware, but I will put a little grease in there so that uh, they slide easily. Uh, but what I was just telling you, we're going to take the sides out. And put some grease in there. And all I'm going to do is just kind of dip it in. 
to the grease and then that should be good they're not seized up or anything so this will just help keep them from getting seized up but you do want to make sure that you're using grease used for brakes because they that grease will take a higher temperature and what usually happens um, over time that grease dries up from this getting hot and then the when the grease is dry it seizes and it just makes for a difficult time for one these don't slide anymore and that can cause some uneven wear on your brakes but uh, I just want to make sure that I went ahead and greased these up and now I'm going to go ahead and change the rotor so here's the T30 Torx that we're going to be using So we've got the old rotor off and uh, I'm going to grab the new one. So here's the new rotor. I'm not sure if you can see the grease that's on there from the manufacturer. Uh, we need to get that off there with some brake clean. This stuff evaporates pretty quickly. But you just want to make sure you don't have any grease on the mating surfaces of the bricks and the So now that that's clean enough, there's this hole right here for the, the Torx bolt and it's here. So you want to make sure you get those lined up. And we'll go ahead and get that started. I'm going to go ahead and clean these, this hardware a little bit. I'm just trying to spray away from the rubber boots because they, uh, the brake cleans a pretty Pretty rough solvent. All right, so now we're going to put the new pads on. Here's just a comparison of old versus new. So it was definitely ready to be changed. I've already got this pad in. I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. So I'm just getting some grease on the on the tips here. And that's just to allow it to... Now, we're ready to put the caliper back on. Now I'm going to put these two 13 millimeter bolts back in.
right, and there's the brick job. Uh, hopefully this was helpful, and if you did find it to be helpful, I'd appreciate if you'd give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do a lot of vehicle maintenance, um, not necessarily on this car, but let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you.